Justice Maggie O'Farrell uses magical realism as a literary tool in her book, Hamnet. So too does Alice Hoffman in Magic Lessons, the prequel to her magic series. Travel back to 17th century Essex, England and Salem, Massachusetts and meet Hannah and Maria Owens. Both are witches who use their powers differently. But even if you're not a fan of witches and magic, you'll still enjoy this book as an accurate novel of historical fiction. Hoffman combines fictional characters with historic figures such as John Haythorne, the magistrate of Salem during the Salem witch trials, and great-great-grandfather to Nathaniel Hawthorne, who by the way changed his name to Hawthorne um, because he didn't want to be associated with his great-great-grandfather. You also meet a character named Jacob Bar Simpson, who was the first Jewish settler in what is now New York City, then New Amsterdam. References are made to the Inquisition raging in Spain and Portugal. Hannah's love interest, Samuel, is a Jew who, along with his father, became sea merchants and sometimes pirates in order to escape the Inquisition. Samuel's mother was not so lucky and she was burned as a heretic. This book traces the persecution of women and the false accusations of witchcraft back to England and to colonial America. The Puritans, themselves persecuted in England, came to the colonies in search of religious freedom. Once here, they showed little tolerance for anyone else who didn't share their beliefs. They kept their women ignorant. 98% could neither read nor write. The few women who were literate, without family or financial, financially independent, such as those who had land, uh, were often the ones singled out, persecuted, and wrongly accused and punished of witchcraft. An important theme in magic lessons is the power of reading. The strongest magic in the book is that which is written and recorded, and the magic lessons contained in the pages of the grimoire, which was a, there are many of them, they're, they're magic textbooks. Um, these are handed down from generation to generation. The novel is also a love story between Samuel and Hannah that spans continents and time. This is an evocative tale that will not disappoint. Hoffman's writing is absolutely spellbinding. Thank you.